key is a common attribute or the combination of multiple attributes and it can be used to distinguish one instance from one other instance in an entity type. So if we have a student instance like this, our ID and our social security number would be our keys. ID is really in the school system what distinguishes students from each other. That's why they have that. Social security number differs every person from each other. So these are key attributes. You can think of them like that. Looking at our figure 2.4.1, we make a modification. When we declare something as a key, we're going to underline it. So remember, when we have something like this, this circled, we've talked about this previously. It's a derived attribute. When we have a key attribute, it's a solid circle with an underline under it. We can have more than one key. Now for composite keys. Composite keys are a set of attributes as the key of an entity. So what this means is that if we have something like to the left, where we have our classroom, we have capacity, if it's a smart room, room number and building. Well, each of these can have multiple attributes underneath them. So we don't have a key. To make a key, we need to generalize or combine things. So looking at the image on the right, we have our classroom, we have our capacity, smart room, that didn't change. But what we can combine is our building and our room number. So looking at our building and our room number, it's a little bit small, but inside of here, we have a classroom ID. And this classroom ID is the key because we've identified the building and room number. So that's what that's going to be. You can think of it as like giving the first number for the ID as the floor number, and then the next number in relation to whatever side it's on, and then the next one in order of how many classrooms are in there. So we generalize or combine things. Like here we combined a building and room number. The key should be minimal. In our figure right here, we could, but we don't want to make the capacity part of the classroom ID. So we leave it by itself because we want it to be minimal. These are composite attributes as a key, and this is what happens when we do not have a key. Next, we are going to be looking at value sets and some more information, but that will be in the next video in the playlist below the like button.